All right. Hey guys. Um, so I thought I would just give you a quick um, update video about the rigid body system. Um, so that's actually depreciated in the new version of VRChat and SDK2, so I had some wrong information there. Um, so before, when I was telling you how to make animations stay in place wherever you place them, um, let me give you an example of that. Um, so things like this. Up into the sky, you and I never falling down again. Up into the sky, you and I never fall. Up into the sky, you and I never falling down again. Okay, so you can see um, the animation was staying initially where we placed it, but if you wanted to do it again, it would remain at zero zero. Um, and it was also like glitchy, so like the particles moving around and stuff. So there's a better way to do this, um, which I just learned about. I've been updating a lot of my animations with this. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the rigid body object. We don't need that anymore. Um, and we're going to drag the game object that has all the keyframes on it, which I was telling you about before. Whenever you do want to animate stuff, you want to create an empty that is zero 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 um you want to animate that <clears throat> do animation one whatever um you start adding stuff here and you drag the keyframes around but i already have one here um so i'm just going to drag that outside of that tutorial avatar we we don't need that anymore um we can just delete this I actually have a rigid body on this too, so I'm going to remove this. Sweet. Um, now there's a couple other ways to do this. You can do components, um, which is, or constraint, sorry, which is the new way of getting stuff to stay still. Or better, um, there's a prefab, which I'm going to leave in the description of this video, so you can just download that. You're going to go into the folder. Um, you're going to drag one of these, it doesn't really matter which one, um, and you're going to pl place that excuse me, on your avatar. You can rename this, um, which I've been doing, that's because I already made them. You can leave it as a world space, but we'll just do... My activation, my animation activation, whatever. Call it whatever you want. Um, <coughs> and... You see it has a container, too. So under the constraints over here, you want to drag your entire body onto a position constraint under sources, rotation constraint, and then under container, you also want to put it under parents. Uh, then you're going to drag your animation game, object, uh, animation game object under container. And for audio, which might get a little bit funky with this new system. You're going to drag that under container. Um, so there you go. Start animation. That's the audio. You want it outside of the game object or it might get funky. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if you click this. And then we're going to start the animation up. Up into the sky and I never fall down again. Up. The audio, so you can actually hear me. Uh, now the benefit of this is, let's say you want to, you started it and you want to do it again. It'll start right above you again versus the rigid body thing where that would never work. Um, and it was glitchy. So this is a much better system of getting things to stay. Um, and I'll leave the prefab under the description so you can just download that. It's super easy. Anyways, uh, hopefully this inspires you to uh, up into the sky you and I never fall